my name is Nicholas Ball and I'm a toxicologist working for the Dow Chemical Company in Switzerland. So a typical day involves reviewing toxicology data, preparing safety summaries, coordinating tox testing programs and sending the findings and communicating those to my customers in Dow. A part of my role also involves working with the colleagues in other companies and in regulatory agencies and we're either advocating for smarter chemical legislation globally or working on research projects that improve how we do toxicology and risk assessment. So on a daily basis the work can be pretty challenging but also very varied and that's really what keeps it interesting. I come from a medical family and I think that really gave me an early interest in science. My dad is a doctor, my mum was a nurse, and my sister was studying medicine. Now as I went through school I continued to enjoy biology and chemistry and ultimately ended up going to university to study zoology. I was very interested in how we work, how everything we are is somehow packaged in our genetic material. Through genetics I came across a series of lectures in toxicology and there it was that I really discovered more about toxicology and piqued my interest and I decided that this was a field that I'd quite like to get into. It's kind of a pinnacle of applied science. You have chemistry, biology, physiology, pharmacology, mathematics, statistics, physics and computer science all feeding into the science. And then when I learned about the concept of the LD50, the lethal dose for 50% of test organisms, I became very curious. The possibility that a group of people could get the same dose of a poison and some survive and others don't? Why wouldn't we all suffer the same fate? We're not all equal when it comes to toxins and poisons. And so toxicology and the product safety department that I'm a part of is therefore the critical piece of any company like mine to ensure that we bring all of these scientific disciplines together to demonstrate that our chemicals can be used safely. The world of toxicology is advancing very rapidly and this really has changed how we do this versus how we used to do it 20, 30 years ago. So while the main concepts I've learned in university have not really changed and formed the basis of the field, so computational toxicology where we use computer models to predict what might happen, in vitro toxicology where we're using cell cultures and cell systems, these have become a far greater part of any and all hazard assessments. There's also a vast amount of toxicological data stored by companies and regulatory agencies with analysis of big data. So today and for the foreseeable future, there is plenty of opportunity for new toxicologists to bring different perspectives and be part of this exciting and rapidly changing field. So many of society's problems need innovation involving chemistry to resolve them. And this can really only be achieved when people have the necessary confidence that chemicals are not the problem, but a solution.